What it do, baby? We bike. I don't know the last time I've streamed, but we bike. Oh my god. Can't see a thing on the screen. Yeah, I can't. I can't see a damn thing. God damn it. Hate it here. <laughs> Hate it here. New game. Normal. Casual. Uh, sure. I don't know. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. Seemed appropriate. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> These headphones are great, y'all. I can't hear a damn thing. The volume is also just very low. Damn, I gotta put my TV on. Death mode. Bro! <sighs> Alright, there we go. I can hear. Jesus. Call the Red Canyon. You'll die. <laughs> die. Die. You took everything that I loved. brought you here. <sighs> I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. My bad. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Okay. Y'all don't expect me to read 
all the text out loud, right? Cause, cause I'm not. <laughs> cause I'm not. We have all passed the fifth grade. We should be fine. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Ooh, can I be? A I'm gonna be a ghost. Do not deceive. You okay. Do, well to keep your wit in line. do why'd you ask? <laughs> I see. Boo. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Boo. I couldn't I couldn't be a ghost. Hate it already. <laughs> I promise I know how to spell my name. Don't make me do a last name. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Uh-uh, now I'm on my personal information. Oh, oh, I wanna go to the other way. Uh, other way. That makes sense, go- No, that's dumb, actually, it lies. That's my birthday, right? I'm asking y'all like y'all know. <laughs> well, That's, I think cease. so. <laughs> it seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Oh, you won't be me so bad. Hmm. I understand. Feels so familiar. I think it may be time for get another nap. Wow. So you chew me out and then go back to sleep. That's fine, I guess. Whatever. You Live your life. Okay, good night. I guess. Well, so guys, in honor of the new Fire Emblem game coming out, I decided to play this one. Am I tardy to the party? Hey, yes, but what's new? Up. Oh, hey. Okay, so I was asleep. Yes. So I'm gonna say I was dreaming about war because I don't know how I feel about saying I was dreaming about little girls. Massive armies <laughs> That's gonna sit right with me. Field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay. Time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Oh, right, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Realistic Good answer. Grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Gerald. Let's go. Let's go, Please, Gerald. Our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dying. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. I mean, do I have a choice? All right. Lots going on in the first however long this is. Ooh, save, always save. Pro tip, guys, always save. Always save. Um... So yeah, gonna play the game. So I played, so I went to go hang out with my friends and he told me to try it and I liked it. So then I bought it and now we're here. So I already actually played maybe like about a good two hours of the game already, but we're just gonna do it again on my actual Switch and not his, so. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. 
But I am gonna go through the tutorial again because that was like a month ago when I played it at his house. Oh, hit B. I'm sitting A. All right, we're using me. Wait, I forgot. I forgot that fast what the heck they told me to do. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I will prevail. LOL. Okay, there we go. I'm supposed to. Yes. Okay. Loki forgot that fast. Thank you. I'm gonna repeat it, you springs. You. Ready and willing. Actually, I just kind of want you to. T Can you attack from here? No. Oh. 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 I'll cook Whatever. Through. I'll use him. Right. What am, what am I gonna bookmark save? Uh, I'll have everyone move as, up as far as they can. Wait, wait. Just and have you be behind. All right. Just so everyone can be closer to the targets. Okay. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Right. That was my plan. Have you wait? Have you go in the bushes and wait? Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Thickets. Cool. Thickets. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Go. I feel like I should give you guys an update. It's been a very long time since I've last streamed and so far all I've been doing is going to work, going to the gym, and doing my homework. I had a midterm which I got a 70 on which is very upsetting the combat arts I you. Um, and nothing but interviews. Uh, sorry let me read this real quick. If I'm still interviewing, of course that means your girl ain't found a job yet, but you know, it is what it is. We're doing the best we can in this situation. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm actually, I have more interviews tomorrow, but I'm actually mad tired. I've had a total of fudge nutters. I've had about almost six interviews. Oh my god, that's so many. I've had like six interviews at this point. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm tired. Don't wanna take him out. I'll take him out. Yeah, I've had like six interviews at this point. I'm tired of interviewing. No, I've had five. Tomorrow makes like six. So yeah. I'm tired. I'm gonna stop after this because I'm not doing as well in my interviews now because I've done so many. So. That's all I got for you. But yeah, we're keeping it pushing. Um, with each passing day, we're getting closer to my trip with my girls. And yeah. I have a headache currently. What else is new? And I'm going to go hang out with my friends this weekend. And that is all the updates I have for you. 
Not much to report. Not much to report. Damn, take you out, Holmes. Bye. I do not like the way my Joy-Con just drifted. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just run to this bush. Run alongside him. Have you hide in this bush? Ouch, my hip flexor. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Absolutely. Yes. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Are you close enough to attack anyone? Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to bring them to me, honestly. Oh, there's no like set number of um moves. Cool. Yeah, I want to move them. Like, I want to get them closer to me. And I will keep oh boy in the bushes for real. In my turn. Yeah, I'm keeping him in the bushes, far away from everybody. Yeah, that's right. Come closer. Let's go. Whether or not this was a good idea, the world will never know. They're missing a lot more. Shout out to me being it. See, this is this is why I hung out in the bushes. Yeah. Not you just shouting orders at me, bro. <laughs> just shouting orders at me. Bye. Failure is not an option. Ow, first level up. Took me long enough. Yeah. So long yet. You. Not not you. You. Attack who's directly in front of you because that makes sense. Who's next? Right, who's next? Who wants the smoke? Who wants the smoke? What time stronger. is it? I can feel it. Seven forty. All right, I really want you to like hang out in the bushes, but we can't go that far. Can you shoot him? If not, I'm gonna honestly just end my turn. He's coming to me, y'all. To like. Hey, you with the blank stare? Out of my way! Making him come to me, honey. Oh, is he gonna help? Like you doing here? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Okay, he's not allowed to attack from the bushes. Nice to know. Progress suits me well. Did everybody level up but me? My actual character? Guess so.
Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as... The Beginning. Hmm... Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called... The Beginning. But... Who once called me that? Sothis. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say exactly what I just did. <laughs> Her name. I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Y yeah, actually. That's, that's exactly what I thought. Just saved your life. And what does that make you? Oh, not you getting the fancy off. <laughs> right, I'm less than a child? Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving, after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? Right, what now? I was thinking of which answer. When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Keep time frozen until I'm safe. I'll just stay here and wait to die. <laughs> <laughs> that last one is low key more so something I would really say. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes. You who bears the flames with flames? I got flames within me. Through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Alright. Bring that shit the fuck back. That's what we doing. Y'all, let's talk about how I ate like I wanna say less than an hour ago. And I'm most definitely I'm gonna eat again within like the next two hours. So if you ever thought about, I wish I had a fast metabolism. No, you don't. No, hey, you do not. Huh? Cause you're always eating. Always eating. Hey, did you just? I don't. I don't know. Cause you didn't finish the sentence. The knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. Kind of tardy to the party, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? Yeah, a, a skirmish. He's the MVP. I mean, hey, whatever. I'm gonna turn seven. Oh, it does keep track of how many turns you take, though. Yeah, something tells me try not to take a sh crap ton of turns. Even though I don't think it cares either way. My Online st so much. Oh, wait, I was reading that. Captain Jones, whatever. It is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? 
It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? Heck yeah, that's my dad. He's a stranger to me. Heck yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> that's Is my that dad. So? Physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. It seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain yep. of the Knights of Saros. Oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Nope. I didn't know he was a captain. Well, I didn't, you but... You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? The most famous order of knights in all of Fodren. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after him. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me. Naive. Tell me. Are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. Sorry, my headphones died. It, it likes to just cut off in the middle, like I'm not using it. Hey, to see it! Consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Is that right? 
Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. I forgot to turn the mic off. I'm over here talking. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleepy. Part one, white clouds, great tree moon, three houses. Is that me breathing? <laughs> My bad, y'all. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential. Just as a tiny sprout hopes to I'm trying to position it so I'm not breathing into it. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor, rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. I get a little anime cutscene. Oh, I love when games do this. It's fun. It's like I'm watching TV. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Garrick Mock Monastery. Did the flow of time bring you here? It's been years. Me since and my dad. <laughs> this place to be 
forced to see her now. Uh, Ah, uh, this is more important. Her, you she special to you. Courtyard earlier, didn't you? The okay, I guess Lady I should Ray. ask. That was I didn't ask. Okay, now with me just repeating. As you know, but asking in a question. I don't like that. Devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Sethix. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? I'm not shy by any means. A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what I Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. As I serve it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's not pick. Because what if she's like, yeah? <laughs> so. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Do you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. Definitely not. As you well know. I am Hanneman. A crest scholar and professor of the Officers' know. Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I sure. insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. Why are you it's telling nice me you're available? You. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't ask about the available. I belong to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. All right. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Three houses. <laughs> I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Have not. Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The officer to me is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. 
Empress, I guess. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Pargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Of course they will. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest <laughs> you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Not odd have ducks. You no know changing your mind, Rhea. Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor oh, at our esteemed academy is. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Okay, I never saw her run, y'all. <laughs> Ooh. Animation. So why is only one of my knees covered? Is that my bad knee? See, now that's an indication. Now people know that's my bad knee. <laughs> Not me giving out my secrets. Y'all, do I want ice cream tonight or no? I feel like the answer should be yes to the ice cream. While exploring. <laughs> Fresh walk like a normal I person. You are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? Yes, ma'am. Please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once I do. you have finished, come and speak with me. 
May I ask a favor of you? I get 500 G's just for talking to people. All right, let's go. All right, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna be doing that walking around crap for long. Let's go. Am I gonna get lost? Pro oh. Am I gonna get lost? Probably. But that's part of the game. Oh, oh my god. Just, just in case, you know, you're not good with directions like me, just have it take up the whole screen. That was hilarious because it was just obnoxiously big. Hey, so you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity, I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I don't know I yet. Hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Uh, sure. Yes. Tell me, everybody. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant, arrogant even, but to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. I'm distant and arrogant? <laughs> oh, okay. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and astute. reasonable. Astute. Yeah, I don't need to zoom in. It's a gambit. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. <laughs> His house is that of Duke Iron, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. Wing unit is full. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him. And nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. <laughs> if he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. I mean, he'd be tired, bro. He's the second son of Count Berkeley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. Oh, what? She healed people at every turn? I'm, he I'm here for that. To the west of Fodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Hmm. I mean, besides Sleepy Man, you know, everyone's great. Sleepy Man's probably great too. He just retired. I feel that. I feel that with all my heart.
Hey, Claude. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I do what I, I guess can. that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. <laughs> Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Everybody. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Lorraine. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. <laughs> he comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Nah, actually, that's about it. Hey, that's what's up. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Childish. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. <laughs> Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. my apologies for the other day you came to our aid yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed crown prince of the holy kingdom of Fargus of course at the Academy I am simply a student and I've heard word that you are to become a professor here you I like am the news I still have much to learn but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance in any case welcome to the monastery I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Well, everyone did, but... T give me your story. Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Hello. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, 
so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Oh, he's my favorite already. Besides the dude that eats. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. Hey. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Yeah, Ingrid. I appreciate your effort. Quest complete. Did I get 500 G's for this? Damn. Uh. I mean, I. I mean, I kind of wanted to talk to people. Nope. Let's just go back, so I don't have to find the place, so I won't get lost. Are you enjoying your time at the academy <laughs> I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, Sir, if you don't get your hating ass on somewhere. Deer. All so different. I hope you I did. A point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Oh nice, cool. Thanks. So you have chosen the blue lions led by Dimitri, correct? Yes, ma'am. Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. She likes to this. Of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. Thanks. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few What's days' up? time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. I wasn't planning on it, but thanks. Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No. I really can't believe it! But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. Oh, I am so sorry, Professor. <laughs> you just look Not the same age as the rest of us, and... Oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that to you. I really must watch my tongue. I like her. Uh, th was, if this is my only option... You say that, but... I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but if the professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. 
I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't oh, need to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, professor? Such benevolence is a sight to behold. I don't suppose you would care to join me for tea. We could discuss education and marriage. Control uh. yourself, Sylvain. I have more important matters to discuss with our new professor. Come to the training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. All right, Felix. You aren't wasting any time, are you? Insight. As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> Pardon me. But I would also love to observe you in battle, for future reference, if that's okay with you. Ash, I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> if you get injured, simply say the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Your Highness, do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. To do. My companion. Did you? Is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh. I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground. <laughs> Yo, Ingrid, Ingrid is that friend. nigga. <laughs> you really are too harsh on me. Well then, professor, what do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch, but you'll find none who work harder. I know, that's why I picked y'all. certain will cause our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. Alright guys, I made my choice. We are in the blue no your nose. No, okay. That's... New places to explore. Ew. Oh, it's for activities. <laughs> thought I would just had money. You thought? Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Oh, good. Let's go. You don't know about crests. Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely everything about them. Okay. Is your clear? This will take a while. Oh, you wild bro, for real. Are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. <laughs> Not me each looking bored. <laughs> has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. But there's no need to look into yes, this now. Nah, we course. here now. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think. Maybe. There are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have oh, more okay. research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. 
Hmm. What could this line here be in? <laughs> perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Perhaps... You're excited. What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Well, glad I gave him something to do. Keep him occupied for a while. You know? With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. This is me room. Alright. So this is where we shall end the stream. <laughs>